What's up everybody, Big Will. I bet you didn't expect us to put out a new show, did you? I didn't think so. Well, it's not gonna be an average show because we are here to do serious, hardcore journalism, okay? We are not fake news, okay? We are here to steal and plagiarize many other hardworking K-pop journalists from the likes of Soompi and AllKpop.com, etc. And we will read it for you and put up special graphics so that you don't have to because we know you're just too damn lazy. Let's get into the news. So our first story this evening is about the new show The Unit on KBS, which touts itself as a show that gives second chances to idols that never quite made it in other groups. The show debuted on October 28th, 2017. And guess who's already pissed off? That's right, the netizens. So KBS has advertised the show as an idol rebooting show, attempting to give stars who've already debuted, who had minimal success, a chance for actual fame. However, there's already controversy swirling around it. What a surprise. Some just debuted idol groups such as C9 Entertainment's Good Day, as well as a 13 year old trainee and an actor in training had appeared on the show as well. And this made viewers think that the show has already lost its goal of giving idols a second chance. Comments such as, they call this an idol rebooting project, but what's with the 13 year old and the actor who already debuted on Golden Bell? I watched this show because it was a rebooting program that was supposed to look at desperation and potential and then talent. But actor Lee Jung Ha was chosen just because he was cute. We here at the K-Pop News Network understand these opinions. And while in some cases we do agree, I would say the biggest issue is that these shows are pretty much all fake. And what people are complaining about is that the producers are essentially stacking the deck. It happens in every single show every single time. So please don't be surprised by this information, but we are curious here at the K-Pop News Network what you guys think. So please let us know in the comments below your opinion. In other news, recently on a Chinese variety program, GOT7's Jackson has revealed that he has been in five relationships, one of them with a Caucasian. And I know what you're thinking. It was not me, although I would date him. During the interview on the Chinese variety show called Young Woman, the host asked Jackson if he was presently in a relationship, to which he replied, no. Afterward, Jackson was asked about his ideal type, to which he replied, and I quote, I don't have an ideal type. If we connect well, it's okay. That feeling is important. The first girl I dated was a foreigner. She was a Caucasian, white in parentheses. I've dated about four or five times. We here at the K-Pop News Network love Jackson and his sexy eyebrows. And would just like to say that completely agree with his assessment of what an ideal type is. There is no such thing as an ideal type. There are types that you prefer, different things that everybody is attracted to based on your life experiences, personalities, etc. However, when two people click, it's like two ships passing in the night, baby. There's nothing like it, regardless of race, age, sex, creed, etc. So Jackson, K-pop for life, salutes you. And finally in K-pop news, with the release of Twice's new album, Twice the Gram, just around the corner on October 30th at 6 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Still can't figure out what time that is here. For you fans and oncers out there who just can't wait to get your hands on the new album, Twice has done you a favor. The preview shows all versions of the album, as well as what's inside, including, but not limited to, photo cards, photo books, CDs, Polaroids, and more. We here at K-Pop for Life think the album is cute and bright, just like the girls themselves. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to our brand new series, the K-Pop News Network. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click one of these two links that are going to pop up right here at the bottom. And don't forget to hit that little alarm bell so you can get updated on any new posts I put up in the future. And remember, it's not a trend. It's a lifestyle. K-Pop News Network, signing out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.